Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Case Miss Brown here, back at you with another video. Um, sorry I haven't done one in a little while. It's just that I've been a little bit caught up. Uh, it's been a little bit tired. School and work. Well, not really work because I haven't done any work. I'm, I'm not working yet. But regardless, um, this is a review I've been putting off for an extremely long time. Um, I wanted to do this sooner, but you know, I'm a little bit late. Um. Me and my friend were talking about this over the summer last year, as late in July, early August, before my birthday. And I bought this with some of my birthday money, and I thought, what the hey? <clears throat> so, why not give it a review, huh? This time, I'm going to do Batman Under the Red Hood. Um, it's been pretty much forever since I've done a Batman review. The last time I did one was when I did The Dark Knight several years ago. And that review was crap. Of all reasons, that video was definitely crap. How do I know this? Because I've watched my own videos a couple times, and... I'm kind of lazy when I had the camera pointing toward me, I'd be kind of cheesy. This is a little bit better, because I actually have something to put the, the case on, I don't have to hold it up or anything. But here's the case, um, you have Batman there. This is actually the, uh, probably my favorite one. Of all of them, this there was a couple versions of this that came out. There was this one, and there was the Blu-ray that came out with the uh, Jonah Hex short. And there also was a version that came out at Best Buy, which came with a little minifigure of the Red Hood, but it was kind of cheesy in articulation. Uh, the case art says up here, DC Universe animated original movie, uh, Batman Under the Red Hood. You've got Batman there, and you have the Red Hood. Um, his eyes were not gold in the movie, they were a, uh, whitish color. On the spine there, in that really awesome font, it says Batman Under the Red Hood. On the back, you have a picture there of Batman on the new Bat Cycle, which I'm really digging. It says, Dare to Look Under the Hood. In Batman Under the Red Hood, Batman faces his ultimate challenge as a mysterious Red Hood takes Gotham City by firestorm. One part vigilante, one part criminal kingpin. Red Hood begins cleaning up Gotham City with the efficiency of Batman, but without following the same ethical code. Killing is an option. And when the Joker falls in the balance between the two, hard truths are revealed and old wounds are reopened. Featuring a fantastic voice cast headed by Bruce Greenwood, Jensen Ackles, and Neil Patrick Harris, this dazzling DC Universe original animated movie twists and turns through action-packed battles and exciting surprises for a thrill ride you can't miss. Uh, you got, do have a couple stills here. You've got uh, Batman with... Somewhat of the new Robin. The original Robin was killed in, early in the movie by the Joker. I don't know who that is. Um, I'm not going to say Blue Beetle. That's far from Blue Beetle. I, I forget his name. Uh, there you have the Joker. You have uh, the Red Hood with a cyborg. And you have that uh, that man beast that uh, the Red Hood saw in the beginning. Or, I'm not sure if it was Red Hood or if it was Batman or just a bunch of the criminals. I think it was Batman who saw that. Um, two special features. Uh, one, which is pretty lame right about now, is an exclusive first look at Superman Batman Apocalypse. which is an exclusive Z peek at Dick, Dis, DC Universe's next original anime movie. Uh, that's actually kind of cheesy because Superman Batman Apocalypse has been out for quite some time. And then explore three other DC Universe original anime movies. Um, the only difference between this and the Blu-ray version is that one, it doesn't come with a digital copy. And two, um, it doesn't feature that bonus short with, uh... Jonah Hex, which I'm not really missing that much. Open it up. Uh, no insert, but you do get a nice picture of uh, Batman there. It says Batman Under the Red Hood. You've got him in some sort of deserted part of Gotham. Uh, no inserts, which kind of suck. Um, of all of DC's um, animated films that they've done, I'm going to go on a limb and say that this one's been my favorite. Um... Mask of the Phantasm was good, but I think this one was just a beast, because it features another one of my all-time favorite Batman villains, and probably everyone's favorite, the Joker. And, um, it's just an awesome movie. Um, I would love, love to see a little bit more promotion for this. I mean, at the uh, San Diego Comic-Con 2010, they handed out these free masks of the Red Hood, and it had the Batman under the Red Hood logo, and it said in theaters, and on DVD and Blu-ray. July 27th. And, um, I do know they made a, some sort of statue that came with the movie in a foreign country. 
But what I would like to see is I'd like to see like either DC Universe or DC Direct or even Mattel, I mean not Mattel, uh, Manic Collector, do a line of Batman Under the Red Hood figures. Um, they did one for Superman, Batman, Public Enemies. Like I saw the, the toy spot, the review spots review of uh, Icicle, which looked kind of cool. Um, I would like to see one of the Red Hood. Um, I don't care if they just make him and not make anybody else because they probably made a boatload of Batmans. Batmans? Batman? I don't know, but regardless, the Red Hood definitely becoming one of my all-time favorite villains from Batman. Um, I might try to review re-review my review of uh, the Dark Knight if I can find the item that came with the Best Buy exclusive because I did get the Best Buy version that came with a little statue of the Joker's bank robber mask. But that's beside the point. Um, I guess that is about it. Later, guys, I'm out of here.